Hey, I'm Jim, KN4YCD, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Let's take a look at the R-Sync hotspot today. Okay, guys, what we have to look at right now is a hotspot. I received this from R-Sync for review on this channel. I did not purchase this. The kind folks there sent this to me and asked me to do a video review of the device. So what we have here is a hotspot, and I don't know if you can read the writing, but it's an R-Sync MMDVM hotspot micro USB. And it says a couple other things, and I can't read it on the label. And this is by R-Sync from Amazon. I will put a link to Amazon's uh, to R-Sync's store on Amazon down in the in the uh, description below. And I want to. I have opened this already so you know if you're into the magic of box opening this is going to miss out but here's the contents of the box which is honestly more important and this is unique they included a Ethernet a USB to wired Ethernet adapter so this is cool that means that you can plug this guy directly into your wired network and access him without having to go through the Wi-Fi setup um, I have a fairly complex network here at my house, so for me this is pretty cool because I don't have to fool around with doing it on the Wi-Fi. I have plenty of network switch ports. I can stick it on a network switch and I'm good to go. Um, you know, it'll still work on Wi-Fi. The device itself is based on a Raspberry Pi Zero, a Raspberry Pi Zero 2W, the newest um, Raspberry Pi Zero model. And the 0 2W has Wi-Fi built in. <clears throat> um, it has, this comes with a mid-size USB or a HDMI connector and two micro USB for using, um, that's your power, and that would be for using an OTG adapter for connecting up other USB devices to this directly. Um, for example, you could hook up a keyboard if you wanted to. If you want a HDMI monitor on this, that's where that would go. Of course, it has an SMA antenna port. It comes with an SMA um, antenna. It also comes with a 90 degree adapter for the antenna. So if you want to mount this in a vertical position, you could fasten this on, you know, like so. And, but it's hard to do with holding this thing the way I was holding it. <laughs> okay. And then we put the antenna on and then you can mount this, set this on your desk or something in a, in a vertical position. And you can get in the Pi software, Pi Star software, and rotate this screen to match whatever direction you want. Um, I have a similar model. Uh, it may even be from R-Sync that I've had for a couple years. And um, it's sitting on a shelf on my desk and I fix the screen so it rotates. So the power connections are here, so it sits like this, so the power wire is coming off the top, and I have the screen set so where I can read it by looking straight at it, it's not upside down. So you can rotate this screen in, um, in three or four different directions, and that's in the PiStar software. As far as PiStar goes, this is a Raspberry Pi 02W, as I said, with an MMDVM board on it, um, also from R-Sync. This comes with a SanDisk 16 gig micro SD card included in the box as well with the Raspberry Pi image preloaded on it so all you have to do is put power and network to this and you are good to go let me pop this case off real quick and we can take a sneak peek inside of this one I tell you these little metal cases get on there and they don't want to come off there we go so you can see here it is a standard Raspberry Pi Zero style setup and that's what it is in there this one has heat sinks on it which is nice um, that is not standard with the Raspberry Pi Zero 2W so this is some thoughtful add-on that the nice people at R-Sync have done the construction on this is well made very solid I love the screen that is a OLED screen so that's going to be a 0.96 inch OLED screen you can't see it when the device has the cover on um, but on this MMDVM board over here on the side 
these are LEDs that will light up with whatever mode this is in. Of course, as I said, when the cover's on, you can't see all that. Um, <clears throat> so pretty nice. And it also has uh, power and network LEDs as well. And that just mounts uh, via the GPIO pins straight to the 02W. And this is an absolutely stock 02W in here, as you can see down there in the corner with our SanDisk 16 gig card um, stuck in the slot. But the magic sauce is with the Raspberry Pi is this MMDVM board. So <clears throat> let's take a pause and we will get this thing plugged in and onto my network and take a look and make sure it wants to connect. All right, so I've connected to our hotspot and gotten it configured. And I didn't want to make this video about how to configure a Raspberry Pi. This is about the hotspot itself. But as you can see, we're configured. I'm using 438.950. This is a single radio hotspot, so it's simplex. Um, there are available hotspots that have two transceivers on them, but this particular model only has one. So here we're going to connect to a reflector 30 Charlie. <clears throat> um, it will have, um, should have some traffic on it fairly, fairly often. And this says that the command was accepted. And as you can see, we're already seeing traffic flowing in here on the admin page. I'll change over to the dashboard. And here we can see there's an actual QSO going on right now uh, between these two Canadian um, call signs at this particular moment. And it shows you down here that we're connected to REF 30 Charlie. So that's basically what it's going to look like. And all right, so here I have a close up shot of the hotspot and I'm going to key up on my uh, radio here and we can see the display. And, and again, there's, you know, a fair amount of configuration you have to do for the Pi Star software, but the device uh, is working perfectly. And this device uh, came off of Amazon from the R-Sync store. So let's jump over and take a look at it real quick. Okay, so here is the R-Sync store. And they sell a variety of products um, related to amateur radio. So they have a Nano VNA, um, a couple different models of that. The Libra VNA, which I've talked about before on this channel. They have a uh, tiny SA as well, and some other um, various uh, doodads and, and knickknacks. Um, here's uh, our hotspot. This is actually the hotspot that we have. Um, this, well, actually, this is because this comes with the USB Ethernet dongle. Um, this is an MMDVM board which is what actually connects to um, your radio when this is attached to a Raspberry Pi running the PiStar software. And here's a variation. This is a two radio MMDVM board. Um, <clears throat> so this will let you treat your PiStar hotspot like a repeater. You would have an offset between your transmit and receive frequencies. This particular one is a single, single VFO. Um, here's uh, kits. To put a lot of this stuff together, that's another MMDVM board, uh, and you can see they have they have several variations of this stuff available. So that's pretty cool. They also sell tiny SAs, um, the tiny spectrum analyzer, and some other gear. Um, and all this stuff is listed up here. There's the spectrum analyzer, um, which is a cool device if you don't have one. Of course, the Nano VNA which is also a very handy device for the amateur radio and then the hotspot stuff that we've talked about. So that's, um, that's what I've looked at today, guys. I hope you got something out of this. Thank you for stopping by. Um, make sure you hit uh, share and uh, like, and subscribe to this video. If you got something out of it, um, that's it. 73 guys.